It was 1913 when Joseph Deloge, fresh out of MIT, began his work in the new field of replaceable fuses. This major safety innovation over the sacrificial hand-wound lead wire that protected circuits from overload was the beginning of his new St. Louis-based enterprise. And it was his fascinating work with powder filling to quench or kill the arc within the fuse chamber that led to the company's name, Killark. Early growth that was built on these innovations was good, and by 1919, Killark had outgrown its startup location and moved to the much larger Turner Hall at what remains the company's current manufacturing address. Its range of glass fuses became a countertop commodity across industry, and its well-known automobile fuses were adopted as original equipment by the millions for General Motors, Ford, and other car manufacturers. In the early 1920s, Killark introduced its electrolyte conduit fittings and dedicated purpose surface entrance heads to match the growing use of iron pipe to protect electrical conductors. The loss of Turner Hall to a devastating fire in 1925 led to urgent plans for a new structure on the very same site. They incorporated modern operations theory and even included a robust structural system to allow for future expansion. The decision in 1934 to adopt modern marketing techniques by adding agents, distributors, and a widely circulated catalog led to that expansion in just two years. During World War II, the direct needs of the military consumed much of the nation's brass and iron foundry capacity and the raw materials to feed them. However, the company had already been exploring the novel idea of applying some of the inherent benefits of aluminum to its electrolyte conduit fittings. The success of this pioneering concept exceeded expectations, and the company's line of aluminum electrolytes, or alumilets, was born. It was soon clear that this Killark innovation created an important trend that found essentially all major conduit fitting brands following with the addition of their own similar lines. Killark's next move to address the need for illuminating gas stations turned out to be a vital milestone for the company. This advance led the company to develop very specialized equipment for use where ordinary electrical devices could become a source of ignition for fire and explosion in the presence of escaping flammable gases and vapors. Killark continued to experience growth-driven expansion of its facilities in St. Louis, as well as the addition of operations in Canada. International markets also began to represent an important share of business. By now, Killark's groundbreaking developments in products employing copper-free aluminum alloys had caught on in a big way. Even instrumentation manufacturers with specialized needs for enclosures to accommodate their equipment came to Killark for the design and fabrication of dedicated housings in aluminum. The company's record attracted many corporate suitors, but it wasn't until 1985 that the ideal match was achieved. In May of that year, Killark became part of the Hubble family of companies. This was the beginning of a new and invigorating era for Killark. Even while retaining its original brand and character, the total support from Killark's new parent created an environment for accelerated growth and product development. The unfailing long-term growth in the worldwide demand for energy has led to an ever-increasing global role for Killark. Its specialized product lines, third-party certifications, engineering and production capabilities, along with its recognized service structure, have provided a natural fit for the linking of world markets. The expanding call for harmonized technologies and the global transition toward IEC standards has not only become an important part of Killark's current responsibility to the industry, but also a key element in its robust plans for the future. There are moments when a century seems to be an unimaginable span of time, but the remarkable motivations that make up the fabric of Killark's past are still weaving its future. The organization that grew from those early advancements in fuses never lost its passion for excellence and innovation, and continuing its commitment to growth and service for the next century.